We have reached today an important decision in good cooperation between the government and the President of the Republic. We hope that the Parliament will confirm the decision to apply for NATO membership during the coming days. To be frank, I'm a bit confused because I had a telephone discussion with the President Erdogan, that is approximately a month ago, and um, actually he took up himself before I had a uh, possibility to do that, that you're <coughs> applying for NATO membership and we will assess it favorable. I thanked him and he was very pleased uh, receiving my thanks. So uh, you can understand that I'm a bit confused. Uh, what we heard uh, uh, two days ago was different. Then yesterday we again heard that uh, uh, Turkey is open to our membership, but it turned back to no, or uh, let's say negative side. I, I think that uh, what we need now is a very clear answer. I'm prepared to have a new discussion with President Erdogan about uh, uh, the problems he has raised. Uh, of course, uh, when we look at Russia, we, sh we see a very different kind of Russia today than we saw uh, just a few months ago. Everything has changed when Russia attacked Ukraine. And I personally think that we cannot trust anymore that there will be a peaceful future uh, next to Russia uh, with our own. That's why we're making the decisions to joining NATO. It's an act of peace that there would ever again be war uh, in Finland uh, in the future. We have had wars with Russia and we don't want that kind of future for ourselves, for our children. And this is why we're making the dis these decisions today uh, and upcoming week, so there would never again be war in Finland. Thank you. This concludes, Thank you. The, this concludes the first part of the conference. You will